John Birch Society report. George Washington stated, truth will ultimately prevail where pain is taken to bring it to light. Truth is the major weapon of the John Birch Society report. We will return after these words from our sponsor. The John Birch Society Report presents this weekly broadcast to bring you commentary and analysis of today's events. Our commentator today is Mr. Thomas J. Anderson, well-known columnist and humorist of Nashville, Tennessee. Mr. Anderson, president and editor-in-chief of Southern Farm Publications, will discuss the relationship between freedom and morality. Happiness is not what you have in your pocket, but what you have in your heart. Money won't buy happiness. And in spite of what the wags say, it won't even buy a more endurable brand of misery. Those who chase happiness rarely catch up to it. Multimillionaire Jay Gould said before he died, I suppose I am the most miserable man on earth. Happiness lies not in pleasure. Lord Byron, after a lifetime of pleasure, moaned, the worm, the canker, and grief are mine alone. Power can't produce happiness. Alexander the Great conquered the known world and then wept and said, there are no more worlds to conquer. Happiness lies not in believing God is dead. Voltaire believed that and wrote, I wish I had never been born. Happiness is being born again. Happiness is in Christ. He said, your heart shall rejoice and your joy no man taketh from you. As Proverbs 16.20 teaches, Whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. Happiness is being a sovereign individual. Learn to sing solo. Anybody can sing when everybody is singing. The great and good things of history were performed by individuals and not by the mass. Happiness is inequality. Happiness is opportunity, but there is no more opportunity, you say? Somebody has estimated that 80% of the world's knowledge has been developed in the past 10 years and is doubling every 10 years. 90% of all drugs being prescribed by physicians today were not even known 10 years ago. 10 years from now, three-fourths of all the people who will work in industry will be producing products that have not yet been invented or discovered. You are unhappy because you have physical defects? You are not smart? Don't express yourself well? Beethoven was deaf, Edison was a poor student, and Churchill lisped as a boy. When Queen Victoria exclaimed to the great pianist Paderewski, Ah, you are a genius, he replied, Perhaps, Your Majesty, but before I was a genius, I was a drudge. There are few born geniuses. Genius is composed mainly of sweat, determination, and courage. If you want success, do sweat it. Be sure you're right, then go ahead. Be sure you're wrong before you quit. Don't brood over failures. If you must cry over spilt milk, condense it, and don't blame your bad luck. Luck is a circumstance as rare as an honest politician. Your luck is what you make it. Those who complain about the way the ball bounces are invariably those who fumbled it. Happiness is security, and the only real security you will ever have will come from inside you. You are not the same as the others. You are different, different from any person alive or who ever lived or who ever will live. You are you, the only you. What are you going to do about you? That is up to you. Happiness is a round peg in a round hole. Happiness is not to pay now, ride later, as the ads say. In the olden days, men used to ride chargers. Now they marry them. Happiness is riding a charger, not marrying one. To know others, know yourself. To like others, like yourself. To be honest with others, be honest with yourself. 
people who continually complain that people don't understand them probably don't understand themselves. Nobody can cheat you as badly as you can cheat yourself. Nobody can defeat you as badly as you can defeat yourself. More important than your good qualities are the use you make of them. Happiness is service above self. When a young minister asked his bishop, what shall I preach about? The bishop answered, preach about God and preach about 20 minutes. Happiness is knowing how to spend your time. At your age, it's hard for you to appreciate the tyranny of time. There's so little time for each of us. Seneca observed centuries ago, we are always complaining that our days are few and then acting as though there would be no end to them. Jesus had only 33 years on earth. Nathan Hale had only 22. Joan of Arc had only 19. It's not a how much time you have, it's what you do with it. Happiness is doing nothing you have to hide. Happiness is a clear conscience. Sin is not old-fashioned. Sin is real. What is morality? It's what the Bible says it is. Not what some left-wing overeducated professor or modernist preacher may claim. A nice girl is still one who whispers sweet nothing doings into a date's ear. Don't ever let anybody sell you the lie that chastity is out of date. Your children will want their mother to be as pure as you want your mother to be. Happiness is having a future, not a past. All that is legal or acceptable is not moral. Only the moral deserve to be free. Freedom and morality are indivisible. Happiness is knowing. Education is not merely school. Your education is a continuous development of mind, heart, and character. Character is like an iceberg. The part which counts for most is below the surface. When you cash in your chips for this life, the only thing of any value which you can take with you is your character. Character is a victory, not a gift. Character knows no race, no creed, no color or circumstance. If you lack it, it's nobody's fault but your own. Happiness is character. Happiness is freedom. What is freedom? It is freedom to choose. It is the right of every person to own and control his own property, his own mind, and his own labor, as long as he is not infringing on the rights of others. There is only one great giver, and that is God, not government. Governments don't give freedom. They take freedom. People have to wrest freedom from governments. Then, after the people secure freedom, they have to work constantly to keep it. You can't have freedom and security. Happiness lies not in the state, but in the state of mind. Government can give you nothing which it does not first take from somebody else. If you want your government to be your servant instead of your master, you must understand it, participate in it, distrust it, and control it. The bigger it is, the littler you are. Happiness is being self-sufficient. Your parents should do absolutely nothing for you which you can do for yourself. Government should do nothing which private interests can do as well or better. And the federal government should do nothing which can be done as well or better by local and state governments. And that includes practically everything. The bigger the government is, the further removed from the people it is, the more crooked, the more wasteful, and the more inefficient it is. The human race, to which many politicians belong, has made no measurable improvement morally and intellectually in all human history. How sad. And it won't, unless Christianity prevails. Communism, the greatest organized threat to Christianity in human history, has in less than half a century captured more souls than Christianity can now count living 
after 2,000 years. There can be no universal peace and brotherhood until that far of millennium when God chooses to radically alter the character of man. The communists have tried to stamp out God. God, with our help, will stamp out the communist heathens. Happiness is destroying communism. A little boy sitting on a bus between two women unconsciously rubbed his muddy shoes on the white linen dress of the woman on his left. Please, she exclaimed to the woman on his right, would you have your son keep his dirty feet off me? He is not my boy, the woman replied. I've never seen him before. I'm very sorry, said the anguished lad, whose feet couldn't even reach the floor. I didn't mean to. Are you going uptown alone, he was asked. Yes, ma'am, he replied. I always go alone. My mama and daddy are dead. I live with Aunt Barbara. But she says Aunt Mary ought to do something for me, too. So I'm going to Aunt Mary's. I hope she's home because it's raining and I get cold sitting on the steps waiting for her to come home. But you're such a little boy to be thrown on your own in a big city. Oh, I get along all right, he replied. But I get lonesome sometimes. And then when I see anybody I think I'd like to belong to, I sort of nestle up close to her so I can make believe she's my mother. I was playing like I belonged to that lady. I forgot to keep my feet still. That's why I got your dress dirty. Throughout our lives, one of our greatest needs is to feel wanted and appreciated. No less pitiful than the unwanted boy on the bus are the unwanted old people relegated to rest homes where they get everything their hearts desire except the one thing they want most, love. Love is the greatest thing there is. Love Honor and obey your God and your parents. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Happiness is love. <laughs> The John Birch Society Report has again focused attention on important subjects that directly involve you. Copies of today's message can be obtained at 50 cents per copy or $1 for three copies by sending a stamped self-addressed envelope to the John Birch Society Report, San Marino, California. Send 50 cents for one copy or $1 for three copies to the John Birch Society Report, San Marino, California.